Colt Python is back. Now, Justin, when you bring back an icon like the Python, people are gonna say, how is it same, how is it different from the old one? And this is an old one here. It's a fair question. So internally, we actually called this, and don't tell Ford, but we called it Operation Ford Mustang. And the reason we did that is like, you know, when you look at a new Mustang, you kind of have the lines and you sort of have the emotion and you sort of yeah. have the, the feel of that old Ford Mustang, but- it's still there for you, yeah. Yeah, but you want to get rid of the manual steering and you want to get rid of the <laughs> drum brakes and you want to get rid of the other things that, you know, you know, for us, it was really a bit about keeping that feature set and that look and that feel and that envelope and that emotion that yeah. everybody kind of associated with the original, but updating it and, and making it better. So I have an old Colt Python yeah, that I love. Cool. And we thought we'd bring it out here to just compare. One of the things is you look at them right off the bat, you go, well, gosh, it looks really similar. It's, so yep. talk about how they're similar, then we'll talk about how they're different. Definitely. So, so there's certain iconic things about the look of the Python. One of them, of course, is that vent rib barrel. Yeah. So this has sort of really become the signature of the Colt Python. Um, the full underlug barrel. And of course, the uh, you know just sort of that shape of the trigger guard. Uh, I've heard people call it like kidney shape or, right. or something like yeah. that. So that shape of the trigger guard. So those were like uh, I'll call them deal breakers. Yeah, like you gotta they, have it. You gotta have it. Yeah. And um, you know, say again, sort of the wide spur hammer, or other or the other little things like that. We knew it had to have a target rear sight. That's you know, we tried to um, kind of update that, make one that was more functional. That's the thing. You know, the things that you did change. It seems to me like you changed them. You changed them within mind for the shooter and some of the improvements that we have now. That's what we did. We, we, we wanted to take what was really an iconic gun and make it shootable, make it a shooter's gun. Um, the old guns shot great, they really did, but the reality is people shoot differently than they did 40 years ago, 50 sure. years ago. People shoot way more. And the reality is we needed something that held up to today's shooter. So talk to me through what you changed on it, how you updated it. Number one is the materials that the gun are actually made out of. It's, it's a stronger stainless steel. Okay. The next thing we did was we revised, it's hard to tell, but we actually revised the, the envelope that this cylinder okay. fits in. We call this the window of the gun, and it's a really important feature on a revolver. Well, it's got to um, be super strong. Super strong. It's what holds the gun together. If you think about it, what's, what's trying to happen here with a revolver is it's trying to separate at that window. <laughs> right. right. So that's the most important part is, is, the, is sort of that window and strengthening the areas around it and strengthening the materials. Now, up front, you did some things, too. We did. We took the uh, King Cobra, and the Cobra used this user interchangeable front sight. We actually carried that over to the Python. So you can actually just take out this set screw. It's a 50 thousandths uh, hex screw. Okay. And you can just put in a either a brass bead or a night sight. It actually shares all those sights that the right. Cobra and the King Cobra use. Gives you lots of flexibility. The old Absolutely. one was pinned. You had to basically do do a little bit of gunsmith. Yeah, it was a gunsmith fit, right? So like, the, you know, certain versions, like this is an old, uh, looks like six, six inch nickel, uh, had the double pins there. Some of the later ones actually had a single pin too. Now people absolutely love the trigger. It's, it's a gotta have. Yes. It's what they love about the gun. But you did actually update the trigger. We did. We knew that we were gonna be measured mostly on the trigger. People are gonna walk into a gun store, they're gonna pick this gun up, they're gonna pull the trigger. That's what they're gonna do. And we're gonna be, we're, we're gonna be held to a high, high, high standard yeah. on that. And, uh, and we knew that. And that's uh, one of the things that took so long was making sure that we updated everything, made it stronger, but also delivered a trigger pull that people were expecting. All right, the Colt Python is back and it's better than ever.